What's up, Bulls fans? Welcome back to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. On the second video of today, we're going to talk about Patrick Williams and why I believe he should be the starting small forward if DeMar DeRozan decides to leave during the offseason to look for a contender. We're going to talk about his being more aggressive, him driving when he's open or if he's off ball, and we're going to talk about how his teammates have been looking to find him throughout the games. All that and more right after this. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. So the Chicago Bulls drafted Patrick Williams with the hopes that he would be one of the star players on this team in a few years and for years to come. The issue with that is Patrick started off his career passive. Giving him the nickname Passive P was really descriptive in how his game went. A lot of the games when he started in the beginning of his career just seemed like he wasn't on the floor. He looked like a player who wasn't sure what he should be doing or even if he belonged with the players he was playing with. Now, he spent a lot of off seasons trying to fix this and get that mentality of being aggressive. He's been working with DeMar not only on just his mentality, but also his jump shots, his mid-range. But a lot of that are things that we've seen glimpses of, but not consistency of. And that's something we have to keep seeing him do throughout the next couple years. Now, I'm not saying Patrick is going to be a DeMar-level talent or a Kawhi-level talent next year. But what I am saying, that if we see DeMar leave and we also see Zach get traded, most likely sometime in December, that means that Patrick will become one of the building blocks of this team and its core. With that, he's going to get a lot more shots. He's going to have a lot more people looking at him to be the one to make something happen. And with great responsibility, you have to step up to the plate. So what I see happening is if DeMar leaves and if Zach also gets traded, we'll probably keep Booch for a while. It'll be hard to try to find a trade for him right now. Um, but I also think that he'll fit this team a lot without those two players on it. We'll see Patrick have to take a lot of the shots Zach and DeMar were taking. We'll also see Kobe have to step up, but with the Bulls front office and the way it seems they are looking after Patrick Williams, he will be the star. It will be his team. You're going to have to live and die with what Pat does. And with that, we're hoping he will get more and more and more aggressive each and every year. Um, as he starts to really get chances to take those shots and see that he is able to make them. But this season, we've seen a good step. Patrick Williams, the last few games, has looked like he's finding that aggressive mentality, um, taking more shots, diving to the rim when he sees an opening, and you saw that a lot last game against the Nets. Last game, he scored 20 points on 7 for 9 shooting, 4 for 5 shooting from the 3-point line, and started the game off 5 for 5, with his field goal, field goal shooting. Now, I don't expect Patrick to have a game this consistent every time. But what I do expect for him is to take the same shots. He took nine shots. I want to see Patrick, especially if we don't have a DeMar or Zach, taking 15 to 17 shots a game. Throw him up there. You will be the star if that happens, and that means you will have to be the one who is in control. Now, with Zach and DeMar still on the team, I still want to see 10, 11 shots from people each game. Take those shots. Even if you see Zach and DeMar on the floor, know that you belong there as well. You are a powerful player. Patrick is a built basketball player who can get to the rim when he wants. And you see that a lot when he is playing against smaller players. Now, we saw a game with him playing shooting guard when Zach was out, and you can see him actively driving to the basket throwing his weight around and attacking the rim. So I do believe that if he is in that small forward or shooting guard position, he will be more aggressive. But we have to also see him starting to realize he can take bigger players off the dribble for pull-ups, fadeaways, and just keep moving off ball when you are at the power forward position. Now, he seems to be working on his mid-range shot a lot. They have not been going down this season, but he's been doing a lot of pull-up mid-range shots. One thing I don't like that I'm not seeing anymore, though, is Patrick has really not been doing that little floater that he was doing a lot at the beginning of his career. He has a great floater. He should be using it more. He has a lot of jump 
a lot of vertical, and you can see him freeze in the air a lot of times when he does that. It gives him a better chance at making the shot. I need to see him attack the rim and hit those floaters a little bit more. Um, but besides that, seeing him be more aggressive is great. He's been attacking the rim off ball, which is what we've been asking for for years. Patrick stands in the corner. He stands at the wing. People are looking at Zach. They're looking at DeMar, and now they're looking at Kobe. All we need for Patrick to do in those situations is attack. You see a lane, take it. Drive, back cut, get to the rim. That's what you have to do on this team. Right now, you're not the focal point. If you're not the focal point, you have to move. That's how it goes. If you look at the Golden State Warriors, their players move. You pass the ball, you move somewhere else. You pass the ball, you move again. Everyone's trying to get somewhere. The Bulls are a stagnant offense that just stands in place and hope someone makes something happen. If Patrick can start being the player who moves off ball when he sees an opening and gets to the rim, we'll see him get to the line more, we'll see him get more free throws, we'll see him get more shot attempts, and hopefully we'll see him get more aggressive and get more dunks. That is the Patrick we all are hoping for. Now, not only is he cutting to the rim more, but his teammates are looking to pass him the ball, and that is important. You can see now that Kobe has been taking off. He's hitting four threes a game in the last few games he's had. Him being hot means that the defense has to focus on more than just a big three. And that leaves a lot more lanes for Patrick to drive. It also means that people have to collapse for the defense, leaving him open at the three-point line. But the good thing we've been seeing is Zach and DeMar and Kobe have been looking actively to see where Pat is and pass him the ball when he's open. We saw it really good at the start of the Nets game. He was standing at the three-point line, waiting, and the team was finding him. He was hitting those shots wide open, and then we stopped doing it. So we need that to be consistent. I think it will continue to be consistent the more we see Pat make these shots. Um, but also, if Pat ends up being the star of the team and that starting small forward, you'll definitely see people looking for him to take the shot. Now, Last, I'll talk about why I think he should be the starting small forward if DeMar leaves. I don't think Pat should be power forward. We've seen him aggressively attack smaller players, and with his size, him at small forward is going to make him be up a lot against smaller players as well as smaller two guards. That gives him the chance to really use his body, use his strength, and get to the rim. It also means that they are going to have to play him for the drive, which should give him some space for some more threes as well. I think seeing him in that position will give him more confidence. It'll make him think that he has a lot more chance of making a basket, which will make him shoot more. And that is what we want to see from this team. If we can get him at starting small forward, Kobe at starting point guard, and find a good two, if we lose Zach and DeMar, I definitely see this team starting a fresh start with a young core trying to attack, trying to find their mentality and their goals. So with that, let me know what you think about my thoughts on Patrick Williams being a small forward. Do you think he should be small forward or do you think he should stay at the power forward? Let me know down below. If you're new to the videos, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. This is the second video of the day, so if you want to be notified when I'm dropping videos, you got to hit the bell notification. Welcome to the family if you're new. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.